Okay, uh, so what we're typically used to working with is just our function, and you guys are used to seeing that as f of x. So for example, f of x is 2x plus 4. That's just a regular function. We know f of x is also y. So you could write this as y equals 2x plus 4. It's the same function. So f of x and y are basically the same thing. There's also something called an inverse function. So the inverse function we write as f to the negative 1 of x. So we've got our function and then we have the inverse function. So the inverse of 2x plus 4. Okay? There are two important things to remember about the inverse function. The first thing is that the x and the y values are just switched. So the x becomes the y, the y becomes the x. Okay? So the x and y, I'm going to say, are flip-flopped. So you just switch them. So are flip-flopped. So the x and the y just switch. Second thing to remember about an inverse function is that the function and the inverse function are reflective. And they reflect over y equals x. So f of x and its inverse are going to reflect over y equals x. And we'll see that as an actual picture later on. I just want you guys to know that for now. Okay, so how do we find the inverse function? Well, I've got my f of x is 2x plus 4, which I also know is y equals 2x plus 4. Like I said earlier, x and y are flip-flopped. So I'm going to rewrite this, and instead of a y, I'm going to have x. And instead of an x, I'm going to have a y. So I've now got x equals 2y plus 4. You can't graph this, though. This is not a graphable function. The y has to be by itself. We do that by simply solving for y. So I need the y by itself. I'm going to move this 4 over. It's being added, so I'm going to subtract it. Now I've gotten rid of that 4 on this side. I'm now left with x minus 4 equal to 2y. I'm almost done. I've got to get rid of this 2. 2 and the y are being multiplied, so I'm going to divide by 2 on each side. I've now got the y by itself. That's my goal. x over 2 minus 4 over 2. 4 over 2 is simply 2. Okay, so I didn't mention this. Hopefully you guys can remember this from algebra. When I divided up here by 2, I divided both of those terms. So I had to divide the x by 2. That's how I got x over 2 or 1 half x and 4 over 2, which gave me my minus 2. So I now know that y equals x over 2 minus 2. So here is my inverse function, which I can now write as the inverse of my function, or of f of x, is equal to x over 2 minus 2. So now I've got my original function and I have my inverse function. I switched the x and the y and then I solved for the y to have something that I can graph.